Hey everyone, it is day 22 and I want to apologize. I've been out of the loop the last couple days. It has been a bit of a fulcrum if I'm being honest. Um, very difficult. I'm really sorry if anybody's watching. There's been like two views on these videos so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm sure in the future there will be people who will watch this. So I'm going to do what I've set and I've promised to do. So it's day 22, we have 13 more days, so a little over, a little under two weeks before I finish this challenge. And the Kickstarter, as far as I know, is going to get approved tomorrow. So I'll be launching that. It'll be a 37 day Kickstarter. I've been having a few strategy sessions with people. I've had a few calls, so that's been good. Um, things are coming along here. The results have been a little different than I uh, wished they had been. Um, it's been di very difficult because I just, I'm not finding a lot of people who can really, well first off, who really see the value of the mastermind and then um, the ones who do sort of, they're not really a good fit for it. There's a few people who are like, oh yeah, I'd be interested, but then like, they're not really a good fit. So it's frustrating because I'm just not finding a lot of fits for it. And I think it's because uh, after moving through who, you know, all of last week was who, that was the question. Now we're in the second to last week. And that question is really about what. And today was like, what is joy? Like what brings joy? And the biggest thing I saw was that for me, it's in my writing. I, I realized I'd started this whole like the different businesses wanting to like start the car rental business, wanting to sell the courses, wanting to do all of this, but really it was so that I could find a stable emotional place to just write and tell my stories and tell the stories that I felt encouraged to and to experience the, the fantasy worlds and the, uh, the world building and the lore that I feel inside of me and really share that with the world and really steep myself in that. And I realized I've been so conditioned in my mind to think that I have to have this platform of like money, income, security to do that. But what's been interesting is this last seven years, that has been tenuous at best. It hasn't really been anything super stable. And I keep waiting and putting that off until I step into that. And recently I was writing, uh, the end of book two for Eliza and the author. I finished it and I realized, oh, one of the, uh, the conditions, not conditions, but one of the things I noticed and learned about myself was that the reality is, is I think it's because I've never gone with my heart's desire, like what my heart truly wanted, why things never stabilized the way they needed to. Because there was always a part of me that was holding back because I really wanted to do this other thing. And now I'm at the precipice yet again. I found myself at this point when 2020, I remember I had everything I wanted. Like I had the girl of my dreams. Uh, there was, I had the income that was coming in from, from the, uh, the, the pandemic stipend or whatever. And I still was so focused on trying to find a secure, stable, logical business because I didn't believe in my books, I didn't believe in my stories, and I didn't believe in, I didn't believe in them. And as I've been writing how to write a book, and after I made my business for author coaching and stuff like that, I realized I had to start there. That needed to be my foundation. And it's funny because old habits die hard. I always consistently move into wanting to create content for like, oh, how do I build like a business channel and how do I do all this? And all these things are good and necessary and nice, but I realize they're not the foundation of what it is I'm trying to do. And I realize the foundation of what I've always tried to do as an authorpreneur is I'm first and foremost an author and I wanna write books and tell stories. And I got 11 labs. I have actually made like a bunch of different audiobooks based off of my stories and I've been make, generating pictures for them. But I realize I've been so focused on sharing value in terms of helping other people with their goals that 
I haven't been sharing the things that I feel like are most valuable for me to share, which are my stories. And that was a really big wake up call that I had just the other day when I realized that really what I want to do is I want to share these stories and I want to tell these stories and I want to sell these books. And even my Kickstarter, that was the big offering was just my stories and my books and the metafiction that I'm trying to start and just this whole story, like I want to tell a story, even with the O'Neill Yabo Raising Project, keeping this vlog, it's all part of telling a story for me. And I realized I was going back and trying to put my new life into like old bottles. I was trying to take how I built my old business, take the things that I've learned, which are very helpful and very good, and I think they're still very necessary for the future moving forward, yet that is not where I need to start with because the first question, why, second question, where, third question, who, fourth question, what, is joy. And my joy, what brings me my joy is telling those stories. It's sharing and being able to experience that not only for myself, but experience it with others. And I was with a friend, she was the one, she and her husband really inspired me to share my, my story of Eliza and I was able to share that with them yesterday and really see that and I just realized including other people in this process and being able to build these stories and share these books and just do it with the world, that was what brought me joy. That's what made me happy. And I realized it's that encouragement, that sense of wonder is what propels me and makes me want to live my best life. It's not like, I mean, I want to help people and build businesses and talk to them about their stories. But ultimately, it's that I want to be able to share these worlds with other people. I want to be able to read fiction books. I want to be able to do that with a sense of security. However, I think the challenge for me, I've noticed, is that I always put security before I put that sense of wonder, purpose, and joy. And I think for the first time in my life, I need to flip it. I need to recognize that by prioritizing the storytelling, by prioritizing the writing, by prioritizing my goals and my dreams, the security will come as a result of that, not the other way around. And that's a paradigm shift because I realize that very few people are thinking like that and I had always told people, like, I'm living my dream and things like that. And I was, and I am to an extent, but I realized I've never fully embraced allowing myself to write every day. Allowing myself, and I write every day, but I don't write in my stories every day. I'll journal, I'll keep track of, like, business KPIs, I'll create programs, I'll outline different stories but I don't really dive into my dreams and my goals and my, my journey and into that expression of storytelling. I don't really dive into that one gift that I feel like I have, which is the ability to take these principles and put them into really great stories. And one of the biggest indicators that I was coming into something was I've been able to come back and start remembering my dreams very vividly again and that's always been a good indicator of like when the writing spirit is on. But I, th And for the first time, I think I'm going to do my best to keep it on and record my dreams and write those books and those stories. And whatever happens, trust that it'll work out. Now, I still have some business commitments and those things that I need to follow through with. But I've realized even a few of them, I'm not banking a bunch of money off of them. And I've realized it's because there's a part of me that realizes that even though I can do this and even though it is valuable, I don't think that's the primary gift the world needs from me right now. And so right now I'm just selling books. So my big focus is on selling those books. And so you can pre-order Eliza and the author down in the link below. And that's just going to be my focus right now is just letting people know about this book that's coming out and all the other books that are coming out and this, this universe that I'm building, the Clampton verse that I've always had in my mind for a while, but I realized now I'm at, a, I'm really able to tell it at a level that I hadn't been able to before because of all this AI technology and I've embraced it. I really have, I've been doing it, but I realize I haven't been sharing it. 
even though I've been making it. And I think that's been half the problem is that I have all these stories and all this writing that I've done, but I haven't shared any of it. I've written 12 books, guys. I've written 12 books. Um, and seven of them are just sitting away, not doing anything. And so, and you know, a few of them are ready, like at least from my understanding, ready to be published and ready to be read by people. So I'm working on building that, how would I say it? that pipeline out and that's what my kickstarter is going to involve you guys are going to see that and just from now i've got a bunch of pre-orders available so i have pre-orders available for eliza and the author our war game and gods among us on my amazon page as far as like youtube and things like that i'll be just advertising one at a time because i really want to focus that in and right now it's going to be eliza and the author you can get that pre-order for the physical copy, as well as a, a pre-launch version of the, the ebook for free in an email. If you look down in the link below, it's uh, $19.97 or something like that. And yeah, it's, it's my book and my story that I want to share with the world. But there's so many more that I have. And so I'm just going to start sharing that. As well as if you don't want to get the physical book copy, I'm going to have copies of it, like the ebook. I'm just going to put it for free on the Clamptonverse, right? I'm working on putting that out right now. So I'll put links in the descriptions of my videos to come when those are out. So the Clamptonverse YouTube page will have each of the stories and I'm just going to put them out as fast as possible. So whether you want to buy the book, whether you want to get it for ebook, whether you want to get it for physical ebook, or you want to get an audiobook version for it for purchase, or you just want to listen to it for free on YouTube. I'm going to make it available for anybody who wants to do that. And I'm just going to do my best to, to do that for everybody because I've decided that's really what I want to do, you know? And that's what would bring me a lot of joy. It's a little scary and it's tough to explain. And, you know, at this point, there's not really anybody who is really, like, deeply invested in whatever I do either way. So... Right now, it's really up to me, and so I've decided if I'm going to go down, why don't I go down swinging in the direction I want? So with my Kickstarter and the, the new direction of my business, I think it's just really focusing on getting back to the author inside of me, and that was a big breakthrough, and that's what I've been pondering the last two days, and I've committed to doing that, and so I'm super excited. A little scared because I don't know how everything will come out. I just have to sell a lot more books than I need to sell courses and masterminds and things. But it seems like this is what the universe and God wants me to do. So I'm just going to go with it. Anyway, I was writing one part of book three, actually, of this is how you write a book. And so I'm going to keep working on that. But I hope all is well. Stay happy. Stay healthy. If you have any questions, hit me up down below. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Most of this will probably be seen in the future, if at all, you know, because not very many people are watching this. But I hope that everybody is following their dreams and that you're doing what brings you joy. Because I think when you do that, everything else comes together. I was actually doing a call with someone. He had this plan to do this other thing, but you could just tell like he wasn't nearly as involved or as enthused with it. And then when we were able to sit down and create a game plan for what he really wanted to do, it just lit his fires. So I was super excited for that. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, I want to send love to all of you and stay happy, stay healthy, and peace. And off you go. It won't turn off. 